Hey guys, Richie Castellano here. I wanted to do a follow-up video to my modes lesson. A few people were commenting that they weren't able to follow it or some things weren't really clear. So I want to clarify those things. What that video was about is showing you an easy way to identify the sound of a mode in a chord progression and to be able to easily play over it. They're basically shortcuts and tricks to get the, the modal sound over specific chord progressions. In order to get the most out of that video, you really have to know how to refer to chords by number. That's really easy to do, and let me teach you how to do it. Let's take a regular C major scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's the same major scale everyone plays, C major. Now, let's make chords out of this scale. All right, how do you do that? What's a chord? A chord is three or more notes played simultaneously. So it would make sense that all we have to do is, say, play the first three notes of the scale together. So let's see what C, D, and E sound like. All right, not the sound I was hoping for. What's going on here is the notes are too close together. So what most people do is they stack notes in thirds. What that means is you're going in a scale, but instead of going, say, C, D, E, or playing the first three notes sequentially, you want to skip every other note and stack in thirds. So let's say it's C, skip the D to E, skip the F to G. So instead of playing C, D, E, we're going to play C, E, G. And that sounds like this. And that's more of the sound we're used to. Now, to assign numbers or to find out the, um, all the chords in a scale, you just have to follow this principle all the way up the scale. So we have C, E, G for our first chord. That's C major. Now starting on the D note, we'll also skip. So instead of playing D, E, F, we're going to play D, F, A. And that makes a D minor chord. Then the next chord is E minor. Then F major. Then G major. Then A minor. Then B diminished. Then back to C major. So. To review, the chords in a C major scale are C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. Now we're going to assign numbers to those chords, so that's pretty easy. So C major is 1, D minor is 2, E minor is 3, F major is 4, G major is 5, A minor is 6, B diminished is 7, and we go back to the one, C major. So, when does this come in handy? Okay, say you're playing with a band and someone says, I want you to play this song with us. It's a one, six, four, five. Okay, well then you know if you have that pattern memorized, in C major, a one, six, four, five is C major, A minor, F major, G major. Let's say they want to do a one five six four. Okay, C major, G major, A minor, F. Or how about a two five one? That's D minor, G, C major. So that's what that means. Now, what is the benefit of doing this? Transposition. What if you're playing with your band and the singer says, you know, I really can't sing this song in the key of C. It's too high. I'd rather do it in A and say your song is a 1-4-5. Okay, so you know that a 1-4-5 in the key of C major is C, F, G. Now, because we figured out all the chords in the C major scale, the formula remains the same for every major scale. And that formula is major 1, minor 2, minor 3, major 4, major 5, minor 6, diminished 7. That's the, that's the formula for every single major scale. So if I know the notes in an A major scale, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, all I do is I plug in those chord types on those notes. So I have A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp diminished, A. So 
the same chord qualities work for every scale as long as you memorize that pattern. So now, if I want to play my 1, 4, 5, and A, well, since I know the scale, I just go, that's A, D, E. And that's how you transpose quickly. Now, in terms of modes, how this helps you is, if you have that pattern memorized, say, for example, we're in the key of... Let's go back to C major. Okay. If we're doing a song that's, say, just C, D minor, C, D minor, well, I know that's a 1, 2. Major 1, minor 2. No problem, we're in the key of C major. So if I want to solo over that, I use C major. works. But say your song has C major, D major. Okay, guess what happened? We're no longer in the key of C major because we changed the formula. So instead of having a two chord that's minor, we have a two chord that's major. Now, in the last video, I showed you some red flags or dead giveaways. So if you watched the last video, you'll know if I see a chord progression or if I hear a chord progression that has a major one chord and a major two chord, I'm in the key of Lydian. And I also showed you a trick in that last video. Instead of memorizing a new Lydian scale shape, you can just use your trusty old major scale shape and play a G major scale, and it's the same as C Lydian. So. So that's what I meant by the numbers and when I say when you hear, say, uh, major one chord, major two chord, or um, any, any sort of deviation, like typical deviation from the normal pattern of major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, diminished seven, any sort of, you know, standard variation from that is usually modal and you can hear it and then you'll know what scale to play. So I hope this cleared things up. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. I like making these videos, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So hope this helped, and I hope you enjoy watching. Thanks.